Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper and I'm back out in beautiful West Virginia. I have my neighbor down here who's also a ham radio operator. He's going to help me out with today's video. And in this video I want to introduce a concept of voice over internet protocol telephones for use as field phones. And then take that concept one step further and run those phones on mesh radios converted to ham radio units to do wireless phone or voice over internet protocol. So down here you'll see I have two low cost phones I got off of Amazon. These are called Grand Stream phones. These are model 1625s. And right now these two phones are connected to my router inside the retreat. I do not have a call manager. The phones are just configured with static IP addresses. But with these phones I can dial from one phone to the other not by using a phone number, by actually using an IP address. So I'll demonstrate. I'm going to come over to this phone here, hit menu, scroll down to direct IP calling, and now I'm going to enter the IP address for the companion phone sitting over here. So I'm going to do 192.168.1.1.1. Seven and hit OK. And now the other phone's ringing, and I can put it in speakerphone mode and answer it. Test one, two, three, three, two, one. We'll go ahead and hang up that call. So what I just did there was a voice over internet protocol phone on my local area network out here at the retreat. Now I have some Cat5 cabling coming to the first phone, and what I did was daisy chain those two phones together. But you can run separate Cat5 runs within the limits of how far you can run cat 5 or cat 6. If you have a large piece of property with multiple buildings and all the buildings are on the same network, you can still do the same thing. And what's really nice about this is, again, you don't need a call manager. You can go from IP address to IP address. The next thing I want to try, we're going to do this a little bit later, and this will be included in the video, is taking these phones and putting them on these two radios here. These are I'm trying to pronounce this correctly, ubiquity radios for a Wi-Fi access. Actually, my internet here at the retreat location uses these radios, and that mountaintop over there is where I get my internet from, it's about five and a half miles away, and I have one of these radios from my internet service provider in the window. What I did with these radios is I reflashed them with ham radio firmware put out by the Amateur Radio Emergency, I think, Digital Network, and I'll put a link down below. And what that firmware does is converts these two units from the commercial radios into Part 97 FCC ham radios for wideband. And again, I'll put that link down below, and that's operating 2.4 gig, and I think it's called the 13 centimeter band. Next to that is a converter, 12 volts in, 24 volts out because these radios are powered with power over ethernet or PoE. So the idea is to use that converter in a vehicle and I have a passive PoE adapter there that will allow me to have power for one of the radios. So that's the concept here using VoIP phones kind of like field phones or having a small telephone system on your property between multiple buildings Again, this configuration right here is just between the two phones and my router over Cat5 cabling. The next step is to connect these phones to these ham radios over here and do this wirelessly from my house here, 800 feet away to my neighbor's house, a little further down the ridge line here in the mountain. Uh, something I forgot to mention, the phone on the right is actually being powered by that little USB power supply. And the phone on the left is hooked up to AC power coming from the house. Unfortunately, the phones use 48 volts for power over Ethernet, so you cannot pass the PoE signal from the radio back to the phone to power the phone. The other option is the 5 volt power supply. In this case, I made a modified USB cable to take 5 volts out of that little pocket battery to feed into the phone. So this phone's running on battery. That phone's running on commercial power, but if I were to go mobile with a little power supply like that and that converter, I could take the phone and the radio, put it in a vehicle, and the distance on these radios I think is up to 15 miles. It's pretty impressive. Like I said, 
The internet here at the retreat is coming five miles from that mountain over there to one of these radios sitting in my window that's provided by my service provider. So let me take a break here, get this set up in radio mode and demonstrate the real potential of voice over internet protocol as an alternative means of emergency communications. It's as easy for family members to use. I do need to say that you have to have a FCC amateur radio license to use these radios over here with that amateur radio emergency digital network firmware loaded. So I put my call signs on the unit. We'll get it all set up and we'll show you the potential. Be right back. All right, my neighbor took one of the units up the hill this way and it's about 780 feet just past that tree line. So he's got a radio up there and a telephone. I did a temporary setup here with a radio down here, standard Cat5 cable going into a passive power over ethernet injector. And I'm injecting 24 volts DC from this converter, which is taking 12 volts from the hardened power systems QRP Ranger, stepping that 12 volts DC up to 24 volts, putting it into that injector. And that 24 volts is going out of the Cat5 cable into the radio, powering the radio. To the left of the power supply, or the QRP Ranger is a small pocket USB battery, and that's providing five volts to the back side of the telephone, powering up the phone. So this entire configuration is all off grid, and I'm actually getting a call. So we'll go ahead and answer that. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, you sound loud and clear. All right, I was gonna call you first, but now that you called me, uh, we're shooting video. This is a good demonstration. This is K1DOS, talking on a VoIP. Sorry, go ahead. Speaking to N3LJA using a Grandstream 1625 voiceover internet protocol phone connected to a 13 centimeter radio running firmware produced by the Amateur Radio Emergency Digital Network, I think it's called. I'll put a link down below. And our wireless shot is about 780 feet, I think. Up yeah, that, something like that. Good distance up in that direction. Now, all the leaves have fallen, so it's working well. It's not true line of sight. So I imagine if it's summertime and the trees are all full of leaves, I probably would have to get this antenna up higher. So I think that's a good demonstration. I'm gonna hang up with you, N3LJA, and then I'm gonna call you back, okay? Sounds like a plan, okay. So I hit the hang up button. And I'm just gonna hit redial. I could put his IP address in there and I'll show you how you do that again. You hit the menu button here and you would go down to direct IP dial or direct IP call. And the star key is the dot. So you do the 10 dot, whatever the IP address is and hit okay. So we're gonna hit back and I'm just gonna hit redial. Hello, this is K1DOS. N3LJ, loud and clear on the speakerphone. Loud and clear, it's working well. I got everything set up in off-grid configuration down here. I'm using a passive PoE injector, a converter, and two battery packs to run all this. And my buddy up at the top of the hill, his place is actually completely off-grid, so he's powering his equipment with an off-grid solar power system with a pure sine wave inverter running his house up there. So that's a video demonstrating the potential and the concept of using current technology, voice over internet protocol phones with a 13 centimeter amateur radio to, I guess, create a small telephone network within your local area network, or if you needed it, a wireless field phone. And again, these units could transmit quite a bit of distance because my internet service provider is way over on that ridge line and I have one of these radios, I'll walk over and show you, sitting here in my window that has the commercial firmware on there and that's provided by my internet service provider. So there's my video. Again, hello from beautiful West Virginia. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper, testing out a new concept of using voice over internet protocol and 13 centimeter radios to create a local phone system. Thanks for watching everybody.